I think it's time to lift another NX Cat secret. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel to this brand new NX Cat secret video. It's gonna be short, I promise. Let's get to the point. That's all the topic is about it. An intersection point, which I'd like to create between this plane and this axis. For various reasons, it might be necessary to create an intersection point between those two kind of elements. Well, you could easily create a point between line and plane, but not between plane and axis. And in some cases, this was a problem for me, for my use cases, and also some of my clients as well. So let's have a look at the problem at the feature first of all. Therefore, I'm going to expand the construction group, datum drop down, and enable the point feature. I'm going to expand the drop down and pick the point feature. Here it is. So, one option we have within here it is called intersection point. And I was searching for a solution within this dialog. So I was trying things and I could not find a solution for creating an intersection point between plane and axis because you can see it here. You could create an intersection point between curve surface or plane and a curve. And if you select the plane center mouse button to activate the curve selection, you can see this is not a curve. I mean, intersection would be possible, but this old command, which has been enhanced for a long time, does not allow me selecting an axis here. So what is my solution? My first possible solution, of course, is the creation of a curve, like a line, for example, which you could easily start here at this point, and you could use a, for example, normal, like this plane, in order to define the direction. But the problem here is that this has to be very long because otherwise, if there is no intersection, like now, no point would be created. Let's have a look. Point, intersection point. Here it is. Let's select a plane, center mouse button, and the curve. There is no intersection and a fixed point will be created. So after a modification, it won't be updated. Let's just have a look. It's a fixed point. If you have a look inside, it's invert point. So there is no relation between this point and the other elements. Otherwise, if the line is longer, it would be associative. But honestly, I don't like the creation of lines, long lines or too short lines. However, I'd like to find a proper solution that allows me to create an intersection point which is associative and relating to axis and plane. Now let's have a look. Therefore, I found out that if you expand construction, datum drop down, there is a point set. And I wasn't expecting it to be possible with a point set because this was my second try after not finding a solution with a point dialog. I was trying this one. So let's have a look at the point set. It's a fully underrated command because people expect to somehow create a number of points instead of just one point, but it's still possible. And within here, you can see intersection points. It could be an intersection point as well. So let's have a look. And here you see it's curve face or plane and curve or axis. And this makes a difference. So you can select the plane within here, for example, you can select the axis within here. And here is my associated point. It is associative. If you select this, you can see there is a relation between datum axis, datum plane and the point set. And still there is somehow some some old geometry, which I'm going to delete. So it's not related to this point. This one is associative, it is related to those elements. And of course, if you have several planes or several axes, you could also select several planes or several axes in order to create several points, for example, for a whole pattern creation, however, 
for any kind of reason. Point set is my solution for an intersection point creation. Don't forget. Of course, if you were already familiar with this dirty trick with this NX CAD secrets, let me know in the comments below. This is the latest version of Siemens NX, by the way, it's 1980 or even later. But this trick is possible in any version I can imagine that offers us a point set or a point dialog. If you did not know, and if you have a specific use case in mind, which this causes a benefit for you, let me know in the comments below. If you have any other kind of question regarding Siemens NX, especially 1980, the latest release of Siemens NX, let me know in the comments below. If you just want to say hello, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. The next video will follow in a few days. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Simon.